guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rana. So, in everyday life, we all come across with situations that aren't so certain. Like how many steps you walk through a day. Like you can estimate it. Like you can say, I walk um, approximately 10,000 steps a day. But the number won't probably be it at the end of the day. Because like there are always unaccepted situations. Like you can even forget like you are going to walk 10,000 steps a day and like walk 10,001 steps a day. Like there are always those kind of situations. But besides those unaccepted situations, like steps you take is certain. We can say that. Like you can walk through there 10 steps and like it's certain, yeah. 10 steps. Like its length may vary, but like it's 10 steps. While this may be true in our macro world, in micro world there are some situations that are naturally uncertain. Like without those uh, unaccepted things coming across. Like they are naturally uncertain. And I'm going to explain it to you. Formulated by the German physicist and Nobel laureate Werner Heisenberg in 1927, the uncertainty principle in quantum physics states that we cannot know both the position and speed of a particle with perfect accuracy. The more we nail down the particle's position, the less we know about its speed and vice versa. And it's quite simple to understand actually. Think about any particle, a moving particle let's say. It can be an electron or a proton. And you want to know that particle's positions and speed at the same time, accurately. So, you have the particle collide with the detector to measure its position. You send photons, let's say. Unfortunately, in that collision, the particle will lose an amount of momentum, impacting the particle's speed. That means even if you know the particle's position accurately, now that the momentum of the particle changed, no matter with how much precision you measure the momentum, the result will not be accurate. Trying another solution, you reduce photons hitting that particle, in an attempt to reduce the change in momentum. That's pretty okay. But sending less photons, now you know the particle's position with less accuracy. As you see, the accuracy of the position and momentum of the particle are inversely proportional. With one's increment, the other decreases. Its mathematical description looks like this. Since the uncertainty principle is a very basic result in quantum mechanics, despite being proven by one single experiment, typical experiments made about quantum mechanics routinely observe aspects of uncertainty. Certain experiments, however, deliberately test a particular form of uncertainty principle as part of their main research pro program. These include tests of number phase uncertainty relations in superconducting or quantum optic systems. So that said, thanks to Heisenberg and those experiments, we now know the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is true. Like some things may be uncertain in nature some quantum phenomena, like the position of a particle and its speed. We cannot know both of them with accuracy at the same time. They are naturally uncertain. And also, thanks to this uncertainty principle, we now have some important predictions in physics, like non-existence of electrons in the nucleus or the size and ground state energy of hydrogen atoms. So guys, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and like understand the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Actually, it's pretty simple actually, like even if it's it has some like mind dazzling quantum stuff. But however, I think we all managed it very well. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you have any video recommendations or like some kind of questions or other things, you can comment below. So goodbye, see you at other videos.